with that pace, bounce, swing, everything. Wasim, now at the height of his powers, was confident to the point of being cocky, and he played the game as hard as anybody. The 1992 World Cup final in Melbourne was a personal triumph for Wasim. Pakistan had made a reasonable fist of making or setting a target for England to chase, but it was a final flurry from uh, Wasim that um, was the icing on the cake, if you like. It changed a score line from, say, 220 to 250. Sit that straight, that could be four more. The long off coming around won't get it. Superb stroke. When England batted, uh, Wasm got both of them out immediately. And then came back in the middle order and knocked over Alan Lamb and then Chris Lewis with two fantastic deliveries. What a great delivery. Left arm around the wicket. Alan Lamb has been cleaned up. Subtract Lewis from that list. Wasim Akram is on a hat trick. Yes, yeah, two of the best balls that you ever want to see, and particularly World Cup final. Um, you know, there's no bigger moment to, to to produce your best, and he was capable of doing that. This was uh, one of the great match-winning performances you've ever seen. Pakistan could easily have tried to contain England at the time. Well, Imran and uh, Wasim Akram didn't do that. They decided to bowl them out. What a superb delivery, the middle stump uprooted. Wasim Akram and Wakar Yunus are rated by some as the finest fast bowling combination of all time. In early 1993, the two Pakistani quicks pulled off a stunning victory in New Zealand. The most devastating that you would, I, I have seen. Uh, when two bowlers came and uh, really redefined the art of bowling with the old ball, you know, Wasim told me that once that he didn't really enjoy bowling in the new ball, which was very surprising. And, you know, it was amazing that they, they didn't uh, even talk to each other for a long period of time. Yeah. Speed-wise, he was exceptional. Swing-wise, he was exceptional. He was exceptional with the new ball as well as with the old ball. And then short delivery. I think Wakar Yunus uh, perhaps had few of the qualities that Wasim had, but didn't have as great a short delivery as Wasim had. Shortly after the New Zealand test, Wasim replaced Javed Miandad as Pakistani captain. His incumbency began badly. Within a few months, Wasim's first stint as captain was over. They changed captains, um, you know, every, every uh, you know, strange cycle of the moon, don't they? But uh, when he's been in charge, they've been a very competitive unit. He's been captain of, the, of Pakistan three or four times. Uh, it depends what, who's in charge in the, in the administration as to who they pick uh, as their captain. 93, I remember Javed Miyadat got sacked as a captain and they, 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 I was 24 years old. No prior experience of captaining any side, even in first class level. And of course you can't refuse it. I said I'll take it. But I was too young. I made some mistake. I was under pressure on the West Indies tour. My vice captain was Vakar Yunus, one of the greatest bowlers of all time. But he was also very young and naive. I mean, uh, he never was on time on the tour. I used to get frustrated. Javed Miyadad, Ramiz Raja, the senior player, Salim Malik, they were hardly any help at the time. The intricacies of Pakistani cricket politics meant the captaincy changed hands throughout the late 90s. Wasm became captain for a fourth time in 1998, as Pakistan enjoyed a successful year. When I became captain again, I was much calmer. I knew how to look after the uh, individuals. Every individual was same. I have to treat them according to their mental strength. That, that, that's what I picked up after 96. So that's why our team was very successful. Despite the constant external pressures on Wassam's career, he has continued to produce record-breaking performances. 
Wazim Akram, I think, holds the record for the highest score by a player batting at number eight in Test match cricket. 257 not out in a Test match against Zimbabwe at Shikapura. That really was an outstanding achievement. Plenty of sixes in that innings. But you look at his record as a bowler as well. A couple of hat tricks in 1998-99. I think he's taken uh, three wickets in an over. He's taken four wickets in five balls. And he's played county cricket for a decade for Lancashire and been an absolute god at uh, Old Trafford. It really is a remarkable achievement to have stayed at the top level uh, for as long as he has, particularly when you bear in mind that in the latter part of his career he suffered from diabetes and he was able to overcome that and still retain his uh, abilities as a top-class performer. Wasim Akram getting another wicket that's six to him.